So guys, I made a video about this mining platform not long ago, which is Keva Network, right? So if you have been mining, if you have been following my update and you have been mining on this app, there is a new update in which we actually need to go and bind our account and also add the network to Metamax for the upcoming sending and transfer of the token in the testnet platform, right? Now, let me show you if I go to Twitter. So on Twitter, this is the announcement which they made not long ago. You can see they say, Dear Keva users, we sincerely invite you to experience the transfer and withdrawal functions of the Kiva Test Network wallet first. Some blockchain functions of the Kiva Test Network token are now officially open. You will only need to complete the following steps to participate. So what do we need to do? The first thing is to go and successfully bind our blockchain address to our Kiva mining platform, right? And then we will go and add the Kiva Test Network to our external wallet which could be our metamask or any other web3 wallet right so i'm going to be showing you how to do these two stuffs here so that it will be easier for you so this is the information we are going to be using to add the kiva test network to our metamask so i'm going to be dropping this information in the description of this video as well as in our whatsapp group and telegram group right so the first one we are going to be starting with is this second one which is adding the network to metamask so i'm going to head over to my metamask so once my metamask wallet is open just come up here this sign where you have here click on this drop down arrow and then come down to where you have add custom network select it and of course it's going to bring out this one for you to fee just as i said earlier on i'm going to be dropping all the information that you are going to use to feed this one in the description of this video as well as in our whatsapp group and telegram group so you can get it from any of those places so to feed this the network name is keva test right and once that is done for the arrow pc url just come here click on this drop down arrow and then click come down and click on this add rpc url so once you bring us this come here and paste the rpc url so i'm going to paste it here you can leave your vacant and come here and click on add rpc url and of course you can see it here it has reflected here so for the chain id come here click on it and then the chain id is 551 three nine that is the chain id then for the symbol the token symbol is keva right and then for the block explorer you are where the same way come and click on this small drop down here and then click on add explorer you are well then come here and paste it once that is done come and click on add block explorer you are well then you're going to see it's going to reflect here so i have filled all this information here the next thing is to come down here and click on save of course you can see keva test was successfully added right so to switch over to the network i can just come up again click on this drop down arrow and then search for the network look at it here you can see keva Yes. so i'm going to switch over got it now of course you can see this is the network here and you can see i'm having zero keva token right so once this is done once we have completed this one the next step we are going to do is to go and bind our wallet on the mining platform right so first come here and copy your wallet address so i'm going to click on this place to copy my wallet address and once that is done i'll go over to my mining platform again guys if you are not yet mining on the platform the links to join will be in the description of this video and the video guide that will help you get sign up is showing up in the screen right now you can watch it after now so that you will see a step-by-step -step guide on how to register and start mining 
So once I'm here on the mining platform, come down to where you have this profile section down here and then click on it. It's actually going to open. Just scroll down and come to where you have this edit icon. This is an icon that you can actually use to edit your wallet address. So I'm going to click on edit and then come here and paste my wallet which I copied, right? So once I paste it, I will come here and click on confirm, right? So once I click on confirm, good. Now it has been added. How do you know it has been added? If you look down here, you can see they have given me a test token of 0 0.1, which is exactly what they said on that announcement. If you do it correctly, you are going to receive a test token of 0 0.1 GEVA token, right? And here is my wallet address. Now, we can actually withdraw a portion of this test token that they have given to you to your wallet. How do you do that? If you come over to withdraw here, click on it. Now you can see that the wallet you added is here. Once the wallet is here, confirm and be sure that this is the exact wallet from your MetaMask. Then come here and put the amount you want to withdraw, right? So for instance, I can say I want to withdraw 0 0.005, right? And then I'll come here and click on confirm. Good, it has gone successfully, right? And of course, you can see that my 0 0.1 has been reduced to 0 0.095, right? So let's go over to our wallet and confirm if we actually receive that 0 0.005 we sent. So if I go back to my MetaMask wallet, now here you can see it is showing zero. So let me just refresh. Good. So after refreshing, now you can see 0 0.005 GEVA token has been added to my wallet. So this is basically what you need to do and how you can go and bind your wallet address on the GEVA mining network, right? So go ahead, follow the guide, do the same, and you are good to go. Thank you guys for watching and remember to always like this video, share this video, so it will help others to also complete this task. See you guys in my next update and bye for now.